morning, Emma. Uh, shall we start our day so our customers can start their week? Any word from Martindale Publishing? She says all... Here we have lamb chop with an Indian flair. Oliver, you can't expect me to serve experimental gastronomy to our guests. It's writing every hour and I'm on a bit of a tight schedule. See, the thing is, I also need it for... A children's birthday party? I know what I'm doing. Thank you very much. Okay, well, enjoy your gritty cake. I would like you to travel to Sonovia to be the head pastry chef on the premises. Okay, I'm in. Team, just let go. I'm working with this woman, Emma. She's a fantastic pastry chef from America. I think you're going to want to write an article about her. I'm proud. I'm sorry that I left. Did you plan that? Just come in for a moment. My name is Princess Alexandra Batcher of the Kingdom of Sonoma. I'm hosting a 40th anniversary party for my parents. I oh, sponsor, give me strength. Gonna go into the market in the morning. Would you care to join me? Yes, thank you. That would be great. Uh, 7 a.m.? 9. Flower group? Flower nap? What are you doing here? Apologies, Emma. This is my brother Oliver, our guest chef for the week. I have a feeling you two are going to work wonderfully together. You Martindale cookbooks must have a unique point of view, and mine doesn't have anything to say, so it's a pass. Uh, I really need this flower. Every single thing down. Maybe this was a mistake. All of it. Oliver just wants you to be proud of him. I am proud of him. But you're mad. You are a prince? Surprise! Mother loves a carrot cake. Oh, good. And she has very high standards for it. Oh, good. The magazine, and I can finally get my cookbook published. Needs a little more sugar. Oh. oh needs a little more aim. No, thank you. No count. It's a date. Time, 9 a.m. is a time. I will pick one ingredient that you must include, which I will only give you when we start cooking. Fine. If I do well, I'll be put in the steam. Maybe Oliver doesn't feel like it. This phenomenal dinner was dreamt of by my son, Oliver, who could not make me more.